Hi guys, this is my auction and charity shop haul. Um, we went to an auction on Friday before we went to the seaside for the for the evening or afternoon, whatever it was when we got down there. So I decided to do this one separate. I was going to do it in my weekly haul, but there is quite a fair bit here. So I'm just going to get on. So I'm going to show you the charity shop haul first. Um, I went to the charity shop in one near the seaside. There weren't much in there, but outside they had these for a pound each, or buy one, get one free. Now, um, I'm not usually one for puzzles, but this one was brand new and sealed. This one I've got to check, so I'll get the fun of doing that anyway. So, I got, basically I paid 50 each. So, I'm going to try them near Christmas time, I think that would be ideal for near Christmas. Um, perhaps put £8 for the pair or something but bundle them up kind of thing i might find more puzzles to go with them i just don't know but yeah i thought they were a bargain and i get to do the bottom one just to make sure it's there um next i went to my local truck shop down the road and i think that was saturday i went in there actually and i just popped in to have a look and i did find some bits i'm quite excited um i've been collecting these up basically because dave's got a load of playmobil so we've got, um, not famous, mega blocks. So I just picked these figures up so that he can put them in with his plate. Why do I keep saying Playmobil? Mega blocks. <laughs> They're all mega blocks. They were 10p each. I also got this little guy for Dave as well because he's got some of the Bob Builder vehicles. And I thought he'd be ideal to put with his bundle that he's at the moment putting together. And then I got this mug. Winnie the Pooh mug, um, 20p. It's not worth much on eBay, but again, I like bundling. Um, so he'll be bundled with a few plushes or something. So yeah, for 20p, you can't complain. So that is my charity stuff. So I'm going to show you the auction stuff. Now we were just going to go there to look at the furniture, just to see if it was selling. But um, I did see some bits and pieces. Now, we first went there, oh, I'll have to go and get my thing in a minute, that I've got. And there was a suitcase, which is here, I shall pull it out for you guys, which is here. Um, quite intrigued with the suitcase, because it's a really pretty one, actually. I don't need any more suitcases, but I'm going to sell this one. And it's got pink lining in there. It's by Liz Clairvaughan. Um, it's in real good nick. Zips are fine, everything's fine. The only thing that has a problem with it, which is the back bit. So here you've got some damage there. Damage along there where the materials come away. Damage there. A little bit of damage on your part of the zips. There. Hiya! That's Dave, he's just been to the post office. Um, but yeah, that. Now I paid £3 for this bundle and then 46p for the fees on top. So under £4 I paid for this. Now this is what really got me and I'll just quickly leave you for a minute because I forgot it. There we go. <laughs> this is what sold it for me was this bag. To me it reminds me of a carpet bag. It's not a carpet bag. I don't really know much about this bag. It has a name on it, which I have been trying to research. And it's called Americana of Shrift. Shrift? I think it's Shrift or Shroff, something like that. It's in excellent condition. There's no tears. There's no more for the bottom. Um, there was a tag on there. Obviously, these people who ever had this bag was going on a cruise in California. Um, bags that I've found on eBay as such. There we go. That's what I knew inside. Um, eBay and such. I can't, I just can't find one like it at all. Um, there is a stain on there, which I did find somewhere. It's on the corner somewhere. Yeah, there. There is a stain on there, but that's it. That's all that's wrong with it. Now, I really, really like this. Oh, pardon me. So I'm hoping I might get 20 for that. So that itself is my favourite 
out of it all. There's more from that drive. There is, there was this bag, but I'm just going to put that in our car boot stuff and get rid of that for 50p or something, so I'm not worried about that. There's this bag. I like this bag. The only problem is whoever had this left it up in the sun, so there's a bit of discolour on the top. But I don't think it affects it that badly. So I might try and put that on for a fiver. I think it's cute with the bamboo um, canes, handles and that. So I don't usually sell bags, so this is all new to me. And then there's this bag, which is a huge bag. Ideal for the beach, shopping, etc. It's all in good nick. I think a little bit of discolour at the bottom. But it is a... Now I did see it. Where is it? It's a Land's End bag. So as you can see, inside's really neat. You've got your little thing to put your keys on. Some pockets. And a zip bit. So I'm hoping to put Tana on that as well. Um, I really like that one. It's a real nice bag. Very big. Very bulky, so it's great for anything, the beach, gym, whatever you want. I don't usually sell bags, I'm usually a toy person and clothes, but I thought I'd have a go. And the suitcase, I'm thinking of 15 on that, as long as I explain the damage on it. You never know. Next one is a bag of teddies. Now there's a huge bag. Which, um, a huge bag. There was a huge teddy, which I will insert picture somewhere, perhaps at the end or somewhere. And there was a bag of teddies. Um, the thing that got me the most was this teddy bear. This I saw poking out. Now, I quickly looked on eBay. I found the liquid sure sorts. This is by Duane. Diane Jones um, and I researched it and found that this little guy the last one that sold sold for about £30 some sell for 10 some sell for 5 some 15 so it just depends what you want to put on it but yeah he's a little vintage guy and that's what sold it for me now I paid £6.76 so the 76 was the fee £6 was the back no, five pound. Five pound was the bag. And certainly six p was. It's been a long day today, um, and it's not even three o'clock yet. So yeah, this is the guy that sold it for me. So I'm really happy with that. I've already sold the big teddy today at the car boot sale for two pound, which I'm pretty happy with that. And he was giving me the creepy really cool. That's for sure. Inside here is some more stuff. So we've got a teddy. Mm, that's going to be car boot, it's not worth anything. Let's put him there. We've got a Tetley tea bag, again, he's not worth anything, so he's going to go to the car boot. Um, I, keep, I keep all these McDonald's toys, so there's Tigger. And he's got some sort of hat thing. We've got him. And what else we've got? We've got a... Another tiger again, he's going 50p. Then we've got another McDonald's toy dimension. Now he's a bit grabby, you probably need washing. Um, so I'm gonna keep him though. I'm a bit like that. I'm a smash, can keep him. Then what I was really happy about is we've got Ken, so I'm really really happy about him. So we've got Ken. Then we got, well, there's a doll here that's broken. Then we've got a, uh, what's she? Not sure what she is. But she's interesting. So I'll keep her. We've got a, I'm not sure what this guy is, but I can remember him kissing a cat. So I need to find out who he is. But I can remember him kissing a cat. So I'm not sure who he is, but I'm going to find out. If you guys know who he is, can you please comment down below? I can just remember him looking at, looking at him, kissing this cat, thinking it was a woman, you know, and mm, same breed as him, was I? I think this is a Cindy. No, I'm not sure. The a doll. Not sure about that one. Uh, I'm trying to be as pretty as possible. A grill up, don't want that. There's lots in here, I'll tell you, there's lots. Then I've got this little geezer, a little teddy, I'm not sure what he is. He's cute. 
it's not, mm, I don't know what it is to be honest. But yeah, he's probably going 50p. And we've got some more McDonald's toys. All McDonald's toys. I've actually got a few of these actually. So they are going in my collection. Another toy, they're going 50p. Clip on tie. I do sell ties, so that'd be a good one to keep. Um, here comes your Cindy doll. She's a bit battered. Cindy doll. Then we've got another one of them things, whatever you call them. Kangaroo. We've got a little TY. Um, he could go in my TY collection. Another McDonald's toy, which again I said I'm collecting them, so that'll go with the others. I haven't got them, I was actually the first one in second. Some clothes, I'm not sure what these are. Oh, that might be that little girl actually. That need wishing, washing, washing, washing. Some jeans, a dress for that little doll that I had in my hand. We have got a broken doll, but that would be going in the bin. We've got a crab, and last but least, we've got another McDonald's toy. I don't know what it's from because it doesn't really say. It says Tarzan, Tarzan. We've got a little grab. So yeah, there's a lot there actually. The, this is self will make the money, pay for the thing and more. And then the rest I will be able to make. I don't think. <laughs> he doesn't realise I'm actually filming and he's chatting away like an old man. Anyway. So yeah, that is all my jumble self. So. so Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give us a huge thumbs up. And if you want to see more, please subscribe for more vlogs and hauls. And look out for my next weekly vlog. So thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you later. Bye.